Hi, everybody. Uh, Diane Nito, Living in Barry here. I want to share and have a talk to you today about the listing really low and the crazy, well, we think it's like a crazy high price that they got, but they didn't. So this is kind of back a bit where people are pricing really, really low. Like there was one in a row, yeah, two ninety nine, and my client um, sent it to me and said, "Is this a joke?" And I said, "Well, I'll check for the offer date." And of course, there was an offer date. I think it got three forty or something, but there was no interior pictures, so and everything was as is. So I'm I'm assuming it was very very rough um, and needed a lot of work. Uh, there was another one that came up, which I'm going to share with you in it in Barry um, at five ninety nine. And even when I saw the listing come up, I didn't even have to look to see if there was an offer date. I knew there was. So they list it low, really low. And then they get to try to get some action and get people there. Right now, showings are kind of slow. So if you list it really low, you're going to get people there. And obviously, there's buyers out there because like this one went pretty high over. So I'm going to share the screen with you. And I'm going to show you. So this is the East End neighborhood on Alexander. And it's actually a pretty nice area. And it was listed at $5.99. And there was an offer date. I think it was a week or so ahead. So it doesn't tell you here. Um, because we're not looking at the um, realtor view. Because we're protecting the homeowner's name and stuff. Um, but it sold for $7.50. So this five ninety nine, like you see a nice, you know, a decent detached house in the city of Barry, five ninety nine. You already know, like it's game, and there's going to be a bidding war. Now, not everybody's getting as much as they want in these bidding wars, but seven fifty, it's only a two and two. Um, you know, it's not a bad price. I mean, it's cute in there. It's not, you know anything outstanding but it's cute and it looks clean and stuff like that and it's got a garage and a decent nice yard so the bidding wars are back but they're back on things that are priced very 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 low like that's way below market value okay so i've seen a few of them and there's one team i've seen like four or five in the last week that they've done that so when my client sends me something like that, or you see something like that, reach out to your realtor and say, when's the offer date? Because you're not getting it for anything close to what they actually listed it for. They probably can't even sell it that cheap. Their mortgage might be more than that. So this is only to attract attention and to, you know, get a higher value. If they priced it at 750, nobody probably would even have gone seen it. You see what I mean? So if they price it as a lower price, they get the action. Either way, it's happening right now. Very low, low prices and bidding wars. Now, it's not the norm. Most people are just part pricing it at market value, but it's happening. So when you see those listings that look too good to be true, they are. If you like my stuff, hit the like, hit the subscribe, or drop me a comment.